Beside this being a fun meme, you can see here the thing we assembled today for. Some logo animation for your live streams or videos. And it's all started when a friend called me about some icons animation and I was like, <laughs> Thus, let's take a simple image. Strip it apart, make it into 3D animation, and edit it as a green screen or a template. So like the video, subscribe, and buckle up, cause we're rolling. Start by searching for any icon image. I will go with this kick icon, then just download it. This is the one I got, and we can now open it with Photoshop or InScape or any other editing software to get its parts each by itself. Using the magic tool in Photoshop, I can select the green color and separate it to new layer with Control J. The black part can stay on the main layer with just deleting the white background and give it a black color so it wash out the original green on it. I will also give the green part a black color cause we need to save this into JPG or PNG images first, then turn it into SVG files with online converters and those converters don't work with colors as we want them to be. So keep it black, and we will fix it in 3D later. Once you saved the two images, we can go online and type JPG to SVG, then choose one decent site and switch your files for Blender to read them as layers. With those two files ready, we can open Blender, go to Files, Import, and select SVG to import the files one by one. If you're working on old Blender versions, you might not see the SVG option in the Imports menu. If that's the case, just check the add-ons and enable the Import SVG files there. Those two parts are imported as curves, so let's make them into mesh first. You can do that from the Object Convert menu. Then we can center them on the cursor and start editing them. Also. Make sure to set origin to geometry, cause we will do rotation animation on them. And once you're done, hit Shift S and move selection to cursor. To give the mesh some thickness, hit Tab for edit mode, and you can see the mesh is messed up. Don't worry, we will fix it later. For now, just select all by hitting A and press E to extrude the mesh on this part, and same thing goes for the other one. After the extrude, select the two parts and hit R to rotate them by 90 on X or Y, depending on your view. Then we need to copy the K part to the other side and flip it with mirror so it matches the original one when we're rotating the entire thing. Now we need a camera in the scene, so add one from Shift A, place it in the front, and fix the dimensions. Maybe give it a squared frame, or keep it on default. Doesn't matter much since we will render it on a transparent background. The mesh is too small, so maybe scale it up to fit the scene and switch to Material Preview to start adding some materials. Materials here are basic, green for the K part, black on the big block, with some reflections on both of them, so do that to match your original source image. Let's also add a sky environment, an HDRI, which is more than enough for our scene lighting. We can from the film render settings switch the background to transparent, so remember that. And for the mesh, it's too sharp to leave it that way. So add on it a bevel modifier and play with the numbers to make the edges round. The bevel is missed up because the entire mesh sucks. 
So now, the time to clean it up. We can do that by selecting the entire mesh in Edit Mode, and with F3 search bar, look for Limited Dissolve Cleanup. Not the smartest way to clean a mesh, but it do just fine here. So click on it, then try the bevel again, and it should work. Once you're done with this big black block, we can do the same for the green part. So give it a shower and bevel it. Then copy the same thing to the opposite one in the back. I need to match the lighting with the already icons I have, and it should be from the left side. So let's open the world shading. Hit Ctrl T on the sky node to add the mapping, and rotate it around until we match the sun direction to the one we need. Now to rotate those three parts together, we can hold Shift and select the green parts. Then keep holding that shift key and select the black one, and finally hit Ctrl P to assign the black part as a parent object. Thus, we need only to animate it, and the green parts will follow along. The rotation cycle is easy. Press N for the side panel, and in the Z rotation, type hashtag frame on 20. This will make it rotate forever, well, up till your frames end. The green part still need the limited dissolve clean up because the smooth shading is not looking good. So do that and maybe fix the bevel in your way. The frame count is up to your animation. And here we have it done in 120 frame or even half that, since they matching on both sides. But if you want to make some difference in them, see the repeat point and set the timeline end there. The render samples are enough on 64 and the other settings are just fine. So set a folder for the animation's output, keep it on PNG and hit render animation. And here are the sequence I have, I end up with around 126 of those, and the quality is more than enough for animation work. With this, I can open any app, say, After Effect, or anything you're familiar with, and import them all from the files as one sequence, other software probably have the same option, and Blender do have its own video sequence, which is super easy to use. But if you want to edit this furthermore, as in my case, I wanted to add this to the green screen icons I have, and it is easy with After Effect, we just need to match the size and drop it in the place you want. So I will import the other video file, drop it on the timeline, scale it with my animation until they fit, and place them after each other. Thus, we get this result. The render here, if you're doing this with me, is easy. Add a render queue, leave the render settings on best, and save a location for the output. For the transparency background, 
you just need to make the format on QuickTime and the channel on RGB plus alpha. If you don't see the alpha, check the format options and make it on animation. And that's about it. Once you're done with the output, we can add it to OBS or any streaming app. So with OBS, open it, add a new media, fix the settings, and here it is. Hope this been fun. Remember to subscribe and tell your grandma about this. Grannies do like those stuff. See you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.